Welcome to Tuesday Talks here at New Song. Hello, Facebook family and New Song family. Um, I'm going to share with you on today's Tuesday Talk in Mark 10, 14, and 15, and just some brief thoughts in between. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Permit the children to come to me. Do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it at all. I, I think of a time when uh, my grandmother had come down all the way to Wyoming from California for a visit. And she'd come out of the restroom and gone into the kitchen and she said, Tara, uh, your toilet seat bit me on the bottom. <laughs> Because there was a crack in the toilet seat. Well, my son, Stephen, who was only about three and a half years old at the time, ran to the back, back to the bathroom and was in there for a little while. And then he came out and he said, Grandma, come here. And he grabs Grandma's finger and he takes her back in the bathroom to show her that he had fixed the toilet seat. And there across the toilet seat was a Band-Aid. And, you know, in his little mind, he had done what was needed to be done to help grandma out. And he had made, he had fixed the problem. And I think sometimes it's that kind of childlike faith that the Lord is talking about that believes absolutely um, that, that who God is and what he does is for our good. And I think sometimes when we go through hard times and we go through frustrations or money issues or or just, you know, tragic life issues that we sometimes get tainted by what has happened to us. And um, I know for me, from my own experience, you know, a lot of those hard times, it took me many years to realize that God was still doing a work in those circumstances. He was still for me in those circumstances. And I think that it is it has drawn me back to understanding that God is always faithful. And I think that the, the faith that um, it's that Christ is talking about with these children is when they look up at him and they're sitting on his lap, there's no uncertainty of who he is. There's no uncertainty of what he does. There's just belief. I think that we need to understand that God is God in every circumstance and every problem, that he loves us dearly, that he treasures us, that he wants to bring us to him, you know, like these little children. And that that's why the kingdom is seen in the children because it's a reflection of who Christ is in them and to them and how they see him. And so, you know, it, it's so important in these days and times as we see hardship and we, and we endure things that we've never endured before that we understand who God is, no matter what the circumstance, no matter how bad it seems to get, God is still God, and he, and he is where our peace lies. He is where our hope lies. I pray that God will be with you this week, that you'll see some wonderful childlike aspects of uh, faith in ways, and it refreshes you um, in your understanding um, that, you, that you step back and you see things from a different view than you've seen it before. May he give you peace and joy all throughout the week. And I pray that in his holy name. Amen. Bye, guys.